so let's solve this question the question is saying that which of the following statement is or are true so this is msq question multiple options can be correct so let's solve it you know the definite basically the question is asking the definition of validity of argument correct the question is asking when can you say that argument is valid agree the question is asking the definition only nothing else so basically the question is saying that if you have some argument then when can you call it valid see i give you some argument let's assume you have this argument let's call it argument a and in this argument let's assume you have these premises p1 p2 p3 okay you have these premises and let's assume you have this conclusion so when can you say that this argument is valid the question is asking so please tell me when can you say this is valid this argument so i can say argument a is valid if and only if what is the definition tell me what is the definition that we know argument is valid when can you say that some argument is valid if and only if p1 and p2 and p3 p1 and p2 and p3 implies c this is tautology right this should be tautology correct so i can say the argument will be valid if and only if p1 and p2 and p3 implies c is tautology this is the definition that we already know when all the premises are true when p1 and p2 and p3 when they are true then conclusion must be true so whenever they are true conclusion must be true it simply means that p1 and p2 and p3 implies c this must be a tautology this is the definition of argument look at, look at the options the question is asking the argument form with the premises these are the premises this is the conclusion is valid if and only if this is valid okay so the question is asking what can you say okay what can you do so let me tell you in the question he is saying p1 p2 pn and the conclusion is q implies r okay so this is what the question is saying the, in the question argument in the question is given to you so let me write that argument first okay so the argument that is given to you in that argument you have p1 you have p2 you have pn and the conclusion that is given to you that is q implies r this is the conclusion and the question is asking what can you say about this validity okay what can you say about this argument's validity so this is what the question is asking so i can say that this argument will be valid if and only if okay so i can say that this argument uh, this argument is going to be valid if and only if p1 and p2 and pn implies implies okay remember what i can say i can say p1 and p2 and pn implies this conclusion conclusion is q implies r this entire thing must be a tautology right this entire thing this entire thing is a tautology okay so this entire thing must be a tautology now tell me now see what i, I can do something interesting i can do remember now i am going to do something interesting so you have these premises let's assume these are the premises like a b c and the conclusion is p implies uh, q implies r this is the conclusion okay so now this consider this argument now i can say that this will be valid if and only if this will be valid if and only if this equation you have what equation you have you have this equation that a and b and c implies q implies r this equation is a tautology right this equation is tautology right now you tell me what i can change in this equation the same equation the same equation i can write in a different way what i can write tell me you already know this that if you have something like alpha implies beta then that is same as alpha negation or beta so like this you can write now use this and tell me what i can write here i can write that here i can write this will be like a bar or b bar or c negation or this q implies r which is nothing but q negation or r so this is tautology is this clear so far is this correct please tell me so far is this correct 
that I can say that this argument is valid if and only if this equation is tautology. This equation I can write like this. Now, what I can write this equation? This equation, how can I write? Tell me. This equation, can I write like this? That I can I can take this as one. What do you do? Now you take this as one part. So can I write like this? That A and B and C and Q implies R is a tautology. Yes or no? Now tell me. See, this is very simple. Like this is not a complicated question. This is just a good question. This is not a complicated question. You just have to apply the definition. The definition we already know. Just apply that. See what I am doing. Please understand. This argument is given to you. We know the definition of validity. We know that this argument will be valid if and only if this equation is a tautology. Now this equation I can open and I can write like this. This equation I can again write like this. So finally what did I get? Tell me, finally, what did I get? Please tell me, finally, can I say, can I say, see this, can I say that? Can I say that this argument, remember this given argument will be valid. This given argument will be valid if and only if these premises and this conclusion argument is valid. Argument with the Premises. What premises? Argument with premises A, B, C, D, A, A, B, C, Q and conclusion R. Yes or no? I can say argument with premises A, B, C, Q and conclusion R is valid. That's it. So your answer will be what? This is your answer. You can see that the argument with this option is the answer. Option B is the answer, right? Please understand the argument form with the premises, these premises and the conclusion is valid if and only if the argument form with the premises P1, P2, PNQ, PQ, uh, PNQ and conclusion R is valid. So this option is correct. Is this clear to everyone? Please tell me this particular point. Is this point clear? Anyone has any doubt in this? See what I'm saying. Actually, they are meeting here. See if you have these, this argument, look at these two arguments. Argument one, I'm giving you argument two. I am giving you one argument is like this a B. Let's assume one argument is like this a B C and the conclusion is Q implies R. Okay. And another argument is like this. A, B, C, Q, and the conclusion is R. Now you can notice that if this is valid, then this is also valid. So they are if and only if. Remember, you can see that this, I can say that this argument is valid if and only if this argument is valid. This is what the question is asking. The question is saying that this argument is valid if and only if this argument is valid. Okay. And you can easily see this. You can easily prove because you know the definition of validity. You know that this argument will be valid if A and B and C implies Q implies R is a tautology. Okay. You know that this equation is a tautology. But this equation is same as what? Can you notice that this equation is same as what? This equation is same as A and B and C and Q implies R is a tautology. Clear? Please tell me. Now is this question crystal clear? What this question is asking is this clear? The question is simply asking that this argument is valid if and only if this argument is valid. Because actually, if you notice, they are basically same. This argument will be valid if this equation is tautology. But this equation is the same as this equation. These two equations are basically same. Look at this equation 
and look at this equation they are basically same you can open and you can check you can open these like this equation you can notice this equation is same as this equation so finally i can say that this is your answer that this argument will be valid if and only if this argument is valid please tell me is this clear let me know is this point clear let me know is this point clear so this question option b is definitely correct okay let's see another one another interesting thing see something more interesting now in the same can i write this equation see again i'm uh, again i'm explaining this argument is given to you this is the argument that is given to you this argument will be valid if and only if this equation is a tautology you know this this we already know that this is the argument and the definition of validity we know this argument will be valid if and only if this equation is a tautology now this equation this equation i can write like this now tell me one thing can i write this equation like this can i can i write this equation like this a and b and c and r dash implies q dash can i write like this please check it can i write like this please check it yes i can write because what i can do basically i can write like this see very simple this q dash or r this q dash or r i can change it okay let me uh, let me show you on the different page see if you have this thing like a and b and c and q sorry uh, or uh, sorry let's see this a or b or a bar or b bar or c bar or q bar or r this equation what you can do you can write like this a bar or b bar or c bar or r or q bar now what you can do you can take this and you can simply write like this that a and b and c and r dash implies q dash clear please tell me clear so you can you can see that this equation if you notice this equation i can write like this this is a tautology now what did you get now tell me what did you get so you got that finally you got that this argument is valid which argument so argument with premises a b c r dash conclusion conclusion q dash is valid that's it i hope this point is clear tell me is this clear so actually what is happening so let me tell you again you have these two arguments look at this you have argument one and you have argument two there are two arguments one argument is like this one argument is a b c conclusion is q implies r another argument is like this a b c r dash conclusion is q dash now the question what we have proven we have proven that this argument will be valid if and only if this argument is valid this is what we have proven that this argument is valid if and only if this argument is valid why it is very simple because you know when this argument will be valid you already know when this argument is going to be valid this argument will be valid when a and b and c implies q implies r this equation is a tautology okay but you can notice that this is same as this equation is the same as remember this equation is equivalent to this equation a and b and c and r dash implies q dash is a tautology so these are actually same these two equations are basically same that's it okay this equation this equation they are basically equivalent so i can say this argument is valid if and only if this argument is valid this is your question so finally your answer is going to be option d is also correct 
okay so for this question the answer will be b comma d is there anyone who did this question correctly in the weekly quiz did you do this did you solve this question correctly in the weekly quiz please tell me let me know anyone okay what do you think now did you understand now this question did you clearly understand now can you say that you understood this question you understood that option b and d are answer can you like did you understand now please tell me does this question need anything other than the concepts that we have seen in the class see we have seen the concepts every concept we have seen a lot of practice we have done efficient methods we have seen to solve questions okay you know that for any question to solve any question there are many methods we have seen the most efficient methods for solving questions now all you have to do just apply the concepts if you notice this question then this is just an application of what you have seen all the concepts that you have studied now can you apply those concepts this question is all about that let me tell you this is really good question this is really beautiful question okay and maybe someday they should ask this question either in tifr exam or in gate exam they should definitely ask this is a question actually this this option b is from kenneth rosen okay this option b this is taken from kenneth rosen book okay and option d i created for this quiz this i created but the point is that the question is a really interesting question and this type of questions they should definitely ask and maybe one day they will ask okay because this is a standard question from the standard book is this question clear anyone has any doubt in this question please let me know